I think my sour is about had it. Way too nice looking for a shelf. We'll save this board. It has nice lines. garbage. I'm never buying it again. I got a microphone and I'm not afraid to use it. Um, it feels weird to not be yelling now. Don't get used to it though because I'm not going to bother editing all that time. Syncing up audio and shit. Well anyway, we are getting to the, uh, the point in this build that has a lot of complication because already this is a bit not filling me with confidence for heavy loads. I will not be filling it all the way to the roof, I don't think. Who knows? We'll see. But it's definitely really strong if I just sit down on it. There, it it's very strong vertically. It's not very strong in that direction. But whenever I add the part that goes like that, it'll help a lot. But now we get to the part that's even more complicated. Because, well, there's a gap between this wood. And so I can't exactly just drill through this into this. And I was thinking I was going to have, like, a board go over here. But then it's just like, that doesn't make much sense. Because this is going to be a lot more complicated. I'm going to have to get, like, a 2 by 10 and put it across there. And it's going to be a pain in the butt. But then it occurred to me above here this is actually uh, the top of the the truss is actually out by one and so it's actually much closer so I guess what I can do is well if I built this out by putting a, a too thick board here drilling it down putting another board drilling it down and then mounting to that I wouldn't feel very secure because you're going through a lot of steps to get secured. But if you also have it up here doing the same thing, it might be better. 
because in the end I don't want to use this for like lumber and heavy things. I would like to actually make a, a little shelf, a uh, shelf. I would like to eventually make a little shed for that stuff. And this would be more for like boxes of wires and much lighter things, like what's above my workbench. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and, and go with the idea of building that out and get used to speaking to a microphone, weird. Or just take it off and not speak for the rest of the video. That's an idea. I do like this thing though, it's kinda cool. Fuck you too. I have an absolute surfeit of lumber. This needs to be washed. This stuff is washed and drying. Actually pretty much dry. And then I'll go up there. I will make another another shelf oops, to hold the the baseboard pieces because those are quite large. Have that to wash. And then all of this over here. But it might actually be enough lumber to get this finished, have some left over, and use as flooring for the uh, attic of the house. That'd be nice. Five percent, ten point three, ten, twelve point nine, ten point eight, ten point three. Now it's it's more moisture than the boards that were inside. Those are like four, uh, five or six percent moisture, but those are still relatively nice. So I can put them on the shelf without worrying about moisture causing a uh, mold. I think. Thank <laughs> you. 
uh, about 11 or 12 boards did show some signs of regrowth. Most of them were just small specks like that. And I find the hydrogen peroxide works really well for uh, getting rid of it last time. However, you can still wash it with water again and it'll be fine. Make sure to wear gloves though because this hydrogen peroxide can really mess up your skin. this one. I'm just going to pressure wash that one again. So that's what we got. And I went in and put the, the odd pieces that I had left over down. And that can be a good spot to put some stuff. I'll probably just put in like very light stuff. I don't know how much more I'm going to load this down. I, I'll think on it. I know it could hold more, but I don't want to max it out. I really think this is going to be a good idea because the, um, the fan, the ceiling fan, is just right there. And so it's always going to have airflow and um, you know what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those two beams that go up there that one right there and that one down there and I'll make a I'll make a long shelf here for those long boards but it won't hold as much because I plan to use those up making steps up to the loft going forward I think all I have to do next is, well, I can get a lot of the stuff from the loft onto here now, especially with this being flat. A couple put some of the like, computer terminals and such on there. But I really want to get the loft cleaned up and get the big window and the air conditioning in. That'd be really great. And also, most of all, get all these little holes sealed up because we still have some cracks that wasps keep coming in and making nests in. So. I'll get that sorted out. So in the end, um, pretty much all the lumber came out looking great. That pressure washer is working so wonderfully. And only one board needs to be pressure washed again. It just, I guess I, I might not have hit it hard enough or maybe just got rained on or something. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.